Thank you so much. You're welcome. And James, you said that being catfished by your dad may be the most loving and fucked up thing ever. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> I stand and behind it. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I love stories where someone is doing something wrong for the right reasons. And I, I wanted to explore that more fully through the context of this film and, and, and really uh, explore my dad's perspective in why he would ever create this profile and, and then what, what happens when that gets out of hand and out of control and how, how does one navigate that? That's definitely gutsy and brave. And Rachel, you bring in some spice into I love my dad. I love it. I loved it. I loved that scene. Very gutsy. <laughs> Which so, scene? Um, I don't want to spoil it. But okay. The okay. okay. So I brought spice. Okay, that's good. You did. You brought spice. So what was it like to be back and working with him? Because you guys had worked together before. Yeah, yeah we worked together in a very different setting in um, the sitcom King of Queens I played. And we were like this dorky couple that was really fun. So um, yeah, this is our second foray as a couple, uh, but in a very different vibe. So, um, but it's always fun working with Patton. He's, he's super funny and makes really great comic choices, but he's also grounded as an actor. And I was... I always love when people that are known for comedy like really bring it in the you know the more like acting world. So um, that's what Patton does a lot. So it was fun to work with him. James, how did you manage to get these superstars, Rachel Patton, together again? I've I've been a fan of both Patton and Rachel for a long time. Uh, it was we 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 met and we discussed the story and we were both really we were all really excited about telling the same story and we were very much all on the same page as to how we wanted to go about doing it. Uh, both Pat and Rachel were extremely collaborative. Uh, and so we were able to really craft these performances together, uh, which was extremely rewarding. Your dad watched the film with you at South by Southwest. So what, what, what did he say to you after watching the film? Yeah. Yeah. I, my dad, uh, and I have been watching movies together since I was a little kid. We'd go to the movie theater almost every weekend. And um, he he was very nervous to watch it for the first time, but he ended up really digging it. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy that he did. What was his uh, his opinion? Did he give you any feedback? Yeah, he, uh, he, he was asked... So he did a Q&A after uh, the, the film played. We did a Q&A in front of 500 people. Uh, at South by Southwest, and uh, he said that it was cringy. <laughs> That's that was his his answer. Very brave, very brave. So, Rachel, which part of the script is it the one that attracted you and won you over to want to be a part of the project? Um, I, I was attracted to the story as a whole, just even as a, just an observer, like because right away when it said a true story, um, I was just into the whole the whole psychology of the whole thing and. Um, so, and then my part, I liked because uh, it was it was funny, but it was a, it was a little different for me because I do a lot of more broad stuff. So, um, I don't like doing really serious things because I, I just don't. <laughs> it's my wheelhouse. But this kind of like walks the line in a way that I really like. It's just sort of a stretch for me in a good way. And I loved it. I enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, both of your time. Congratulations. I love my dad. Is going to be loved. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nancy.